Heroku was the first easy way to deploy a server. Heroku made it so easy to just take your code, throw it at them, and they would run it for you for free. Without question, Heroku was essential for so many developers starting up. Thankfully, for whatever reason, Heroku has decided to make my conversations about Heroku much easier by killing the free tier entirely. Heroku is dead. Finally happened. It's been a long time coming, to be frank. Heroku was the first easy way to deploy a server, which is a big thing when you think back on it. Before Heroku, you had to know a lot about systems just to take your code and run it somewhere else. Heroku made it so easy to just take your code, throw it at them, and they would run it for you for free. Once it hit a certain point, you would start to have to pay for it, probably too much, but that was fine because of how much it enabled for you, especially at that free tier. It created a whole new level of hobbyist developer that has, it, without question, is a huge part of why I'm a developer now today. I got in hosting Minecraft servers on things like Heroku and more notably for me, DigitalOcean, but without question, Heroku was essential for so many developers starting up and is still regularly recommended for building new applications today. It shouldn't have been, but it was. Thankfully, for whatever reason, Heroku has decided to make my conversations about Heroku much easier by killing the free tier entirely. Heroku is no longer viable by their own decisions and definitions as a way to get started building a new application, period. It just isn't. I don't know what they're targeting instead. I know it's not me, and I'm pretty sure it's none of the people here. Heroku's goals are not to improve the way that we build applications, specifically new greenfield applications anymore. Thankfully, we have so many other super cool options. So let's talk about those options. Let's get us into our favorite, Scaladraw. I wanna make a new scene. What? Heroku is dead. What now? So we have quite a few options and paths to go down. I wanna start Actually, I, I try to think of the right way to break this up because there's a few different things you could use Heroku for. You could use it for hosting a website. You could use it for hosting databases. Use it for running a Docker image. And I would argue that like, these are the three main things people use Heroku for, was to host a website, to host a DB, or to run a Docker image specifically. Actually, I'm gonna put the running a Docker image on top because I think that's the most common one. So if you wanna run a Docker image or something like that, we got a lot of cool options now. We got Railway, probably my favorite, and probably the closest thing to a standard Railway, or to a standard like Heroku deployment. Railway is super fast. You point it at a GitHub repo. If it's a Node.js repo, it figures things out. If it's a Next.js repo, it figures things out. If it has a Docker image, it figures things out. And it does it absurdly fast. Super, super cool project. Super cool company. Great free tier. It's uh, th Their trial is 500 hours of uh, box running a month for free at these specs. And if you upgrade to the... Uh, developer tier, then you still get that five free dollar or five dollars a month of free credit. And if you keep a box running the whole month, it's like two dollars a month. It's super cheap. It's very good. I love what they're doing here. I've been using Railway as my go-to to spin up a quick box for a while now. Recommend it highly. There are other really cool options though. We have Render. I believe the Render.com. Render is trying a little more to do the like all-in-one thing where they want to be the solution to host your website to deploy like your static stuff around their specialty is definitely hosting images though and i i don't think they would push back too hard on that but they are they're trying to do the jack of all trades thing to an extent with all the different ways you would deploy things i less buy into their vision but it is good that they exist they're they are more Heroku in mindset. They're like somewhere between Heroku and AWS and their attempts to do literally everything. 
And then there's fly.io, which I would say is somewhere between the two where fly wants to do really crazy infrastructure things around region management. So with fly, it's easy to build a system that deploys in many different places around the world. Railway is a lot more limited in terms of the regional deployment stuff that it offers. So if you want to build like a Postgres clustering database and with replicas all over the world, if you want to have images spinning up all over the place, this is one of the best ways to do it. They call it the edge. I don't think that's necessarily fair. It's still region based. Edges tend to be much closer to users and much faster to spin up and kill. There is a much like the cold start times on fly are better than a Lambda, but they're not much better than a Lambda. So I'd say those are the three ways I would go for running a Docker image. You could always go the more advanced ways like setting up AWS, but these are the three. Actually, I'm gonna break this up to easy, medium, hard. I actually kind of wanna like split this like horizontally. So if you want to host a website, Heroku was never good for that because it was focused on hosting boxes and you want your website to be a lot closer to your users. The easiest way to do that by far is Vercel. Netlify is up there as well. I say GitHub pages. It's more limited, but it works. Medium solutions. Honestly, render probably fits in there and it's probably less valuable or viable in that space as well, but it's there. It works. It's an option. I think I would put Cloudflare here. I'm torn between if Cloudflare is medium or hard, but it's, yeah. And then hard, uh, let's say AWS, GCP. If you want to host all of that yourself, you can. There's a lot of different AWS services. Some would probably fall under medium. I don't feel like making that distinction right now because I am lazy and this is meant to be a quick how to get out of the, the hell you are in. Uh, and we'll do one last here where I would say for easy, for database, railway. I should probably actually show this. Want to see how hard it is to spin up a database on Railway? I got to make a new Postgres database. Any moment now, I have a new Postgres database. If I unfull screen, you'll notice something very interesting. I'm not even signed in. I'm not logged in. They just made a free DB for me. And click here, click connect. Here's the URL for it, which they blur out because they know I'm going to stream with this shit. But I could just connect to this Postgres database now. It's done. I'm not going to claim it because I'm cool with this getting deleted. But it's that easy to spin up a database with Railway. So they are definitely, and I am firmly keeping them here, the easiest way to spin up your database. Medium, we got a lot of cool options now. Planet Scale is obviously near and dear to my heart. Love them to death. Really good option. We also have Superbase, we have uh, Cockroach, and there's a few others coming up that I'm not as interested in. Hard, uh, I'd say AWS, GCP, sure. People are saying Atlas. Uh, I, I, sure, cool. I, I am putting alternatives to Heroku, guys, not things that will kill your company. Cool. So there you go. Depending on what you want to do. Really easy, straightforward solutions here. If you want to host a Docker image, if you want to have the traditional like application deployed on a server, Railway is incredibly easy. Render and flyer, in a pretty good place, easy enough to set up. And AWS is great. If you want to put the effort in, you'll be paying less money because all these other things are built on top of AWS and over or in upcharging for it, but it is a lot more work to figure out and you're much more likely to accidentally charge yourself a bunch of money. Hosting a website, we talk about ourselves a lot here. Netlify is super similar. GitHub pages, if you don't need any dynamic behaviors at all, you just want it to load on the client, it's a great option as well. Medium options, you can still use render.com as mentioned before. I don't know much about their web stuff. I'm sure, it's fine. Or you can use something like Cloudflare, which will involve more effort and knowledge of how to deploy on there. It will not run Net or Node.js, so know that going in. And then for hard mode, you can spin everything up. You'll notice a theme here. AWS tends to be hard mode option for all of these. And then for databases, Railway lets you click once, get started. I don't know if that will scale particularly great for you. Uh, PlanetScale, Supabase, Cockroach, and Atlas all offer 
pretty simple setups with better scalability overall. Uh, Supabase less so than the others. I guess Atlas probably isn't super scalable. I'm gonna reorder this accordingly. I would recommend Planet Scale and Cockroach before I'd recommend the others. And then hosting databases, I would say, yeah. Think that clarifies. I see, I saw Deno deploy come up. I saw uh, DigitalOcean come up. Those are all valid options and fine. Especially like if you're buying into Deno, go into Deno. Deno deploy is probably a great way to use it. If you are not in the Deno ecosystem, buying into it just for their like uh, deployment stuff feels a little weird. I I could put DigitalOcean. They're fine. I just meh. I think that there are cooler new options that are worth going with. Uh, flight control is interesting, but it's very early. Uh, somebody's asking about WebSockets. I don't think WebSockets are really a thing you should use Heroku for. And if you were, that would fall under the Docker image side of things. Generally, I prefer for like... WebSockets are one of those things I'm okay with outsourcing right now because the hard part isn't... Like, like the infra is hard, but that's not the thing that you should care about when you're building it. So pushers fine, Ably's okay. Uh, Live blocks looks really promising. I'm excited about what they're up to. The IBM cloud. Uh, I don't think about the IBM cloud, thankfully. Hope this is very helpful. Heroku's dead. I know it's painful, but there are lots of awesome options. And I hope that you treat this less like the the sun is or the sky's collapsing, and more like the awesome opportunity that it is to check out some of these new solutions and build some really cool stuff. Please take the opportunity to check out Railway, check out Vercel, check out Planet Scale, check out all of these other awesome opportunity options that you have to build full stack applications. Thank you again for the time.